Hey YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a lot of different things. It's going to be a Louis Vuitton unboxing. Yay! It's going to be a 5,000 subscriber giveaway announcement. So I'm going to tell you how to enter into the 5,000 subscriber giveaway and show you the prizes during this video. And I'm going to tell you how to enter at the end of this video. So just stay tuned for that towards the end. But in the meantime, I do have this unboxing and I want to show you the prize first thing. So I have two items that I was going to give away as prizes. The first is a strap from Timu. And if you haven't checked out my video on Timu that I did last Friday, you should definitely go check it out. It's like a 28 minute long video, but I show a whole bunch of tops and all the tops were between like, I think six or $7 and the most expensive might've been $11, a couple of bottoms and a whole slew of straps. And these straps, they're pretty nice. And the one thing that's different about them from most of the straps I have shown you in the past is the fact that they're not as wide they i believe they're 1.4 inches wide instead of being more of a two inch wide and the two inch wide straps are great for bags that are just a little bigger but if you're carrying around really petite bags this is a really nice width case in point i've been carrying my louis vuitton Busey bag in the blue nuage color with this strap from Timu, and I think this strap was $1.47. And by the way, my initial video was sponsored by them and I was paid to do the video, but it did reflect all of my honest, unbiased opinions. They didn't require me to say anything in particular. They did require me to show you the low prices, but that was about the extent of the control that they had over what I showed you. This particular strap is super cheap, but I think it looks super elegant despite that. I mean, I like how it's got the embroidery in it. And I'm gonna just try it on for you with my outfit so you can kind of see my outfit of the day. So I have on some kind of beachy pants. I got them actually when we were down at the beach with a white thin sweater with kind of an eyelet detail on the sleeve. And I just think this looks super cute. I've paired it today with some Stuart Weitzman pearl slides that are about the same color as the strap and it just kind of tied the whole look together. So this bag does come with a blue strap which is great for the shoulder but because it's one of those snappy straps if I want to wear it crossbody those snaps hit me kind of at a weird spot on my collarbone shoulder area and so this is much more comfortable. So this is how I carried this bag for the last couple days. Inside the bag, I have it organized with an organizer from Zumani. Zumani sent me several organizers. Now, they didn't pay me to do a video, but the organizers, some of them were provided for free. This one I purchased and it is, I can't remember the shade of blue, but they've got a really nice color chart that shows you. It fits the Busey bag to a T, comes with one pocket here, but one thing that they do is that they include one matching little card holder that they put their name on. And I have enough now that I can basically create a couple pockets in a tighter bag with those card holders and eliminate some SLGs so that I do have room to slide my phone in if I need to. I also find that you can use the space on the outside of the organizer between the organizer and the bag itself because that's a great place to slip any papers you may have that you wanna keep separate from what you put in either the pocket on the organizer or the pocket on the bag. So this is one of the items that I'm giving away. This is the second prize. And I think I'll probably look through my strap collection and pick out a couple more. So it'll be like three straps instead of just one for the second prize on the giveaway. The first prize for the giveaway is going to be this Teddy Blake Stella bag in a light blue, almost like a Tiffany Robin's egg blue sort of color. It's a really beautiful shade. I actually have it tied right now to be kind of a long shoulder length but you can take these little knots out and make it into a crossbody. You can also completely unknot 
the strap, take it out, and you can hook a strap through these little loops right here. This bag, I believe, is still currently $485 on the website. It opens with a hinge, and I've never used this. It'll come with a dust bag, but the interior is kind of a microfiber type material. It's got the Teddy Blake logo in there, and it doesn't have a pocket, but you can see there is a fair amount of space in there. I can fit all of my daily essentials in this bag. And so that is first prize for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. But I'm sure you're here for the Louis Vuitton unboxing. So let's open this box up and see what's inside. Of course, I already know because I've checked it out and I've got all the bags at my feet that I can show you with this particular item. I'm super excited. I haven't tried it on with anything yet. So that will be an experience we will have together. But to make it pretty for the reveal slash unboxing, I went ahead and stuck it in the box in the dust bag. And I got, my dogs are barking. I got the brand new Speedy B20 bandolier strap. I got this from another YouTuber and I saw her video. It was actually Candy Sweet Love for LV. I'll link her video down in the description box if you wanna see more information on the Speedy B20. The video I saw that led to me buying this particular strap from her was a video where she compared the Speedy 20 to the Speedy B25. And so you've gotta go check that video out. I wanted the strap, but not the Speedy 20. And the reason I didn't want the Speedy 20 is because I have the Speedy 25. Now Candy wants both, but she didn't want the strap. So it was almost like that nursery rhyme, the, the wife that eats no lean and the man that eats no fat and you put them together and they lick the platter clean. I don't know if you've ever heard that before, but we both wanted different parts of the bag. And so we both are very happy. And I cannot wait to show you this strap on my Speedy B25. I can't wait to see it because I haven't seen it yet either. And straps just make me happy. I'm a strap happy fool. And so let's just go with that and try this out. I like my Speedy to be a little bit squishy gushy. I do have the Speedy 20 in the monogram, but I don't have it in the Damier Ben. I'm happy to have two different sizes in this bag in two different prints, but I absolutely love bandolier straps. And so now I have the perfect one that's Louis Vuitton to match this bag. The detail in the Damier Ben is really key for me because I really like to match the leather to the leather of the bag if I possibly can. And I just think that that looks fabulous. And if you'll notice, my charm has kind of a creamy color in it. And I feel like that just really ties in nicely with all the little floors and the charm to go with the back side of this strap. So that is bag number one. I wanna show you with the new strap, but I have two more bags to show you. So don't go anywhere. Oops, I lied. I actually have three more bags to show you. So if you like the multi-pochette accessoire, you may have seen some of my videos on creating a Damier Aben version since Louis Vuitton has not graced us with an actual multi-pochette accessories or accessoire in the Damier Aben. So what I've done is I've taken a mini pochette and the regular size pochette accessories and I'm just saying it all sorts of ways today. I can't figure out what I'm doing, but I've hooked them together with what I've been told is called a bolt extender. You can find these on the pre-loved market, but it is a Louis Vuitton piece. I think I paid 125 for mine a long time ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this beautiful strap to one side. And you'll see, once you've got it hooked there, the bolt extender stretches out and lets that mini pochette hang just so nicely in the front. And on the other side, to keep it together while it's sitting on my shelf, I have this little O-ring, which is not Louis Vuitton. I think I got it from Motto, but you could just hook the strap directly to the two loops. I think I will hook it to the O-ring and just see how it goes. So basically this is 100% Louis Vuitton now. I've got the two pieces, 
here and here that are Louis Vuitton. I have the bolt extender that's Louis Vuitton and I have the strap, which is Louis Vuitton. The only part that's not is this little O-ring and I can get rid of that if I wanted to be totally 100%, but we're pretty close, right? So as you can see, now I've got my multi pochette accessoire in the Damier Ben print with the strap from Louis Vuitton. I'm super excited. I do have other straps that look good with this bag from Etsy. And if you haven't seen those videos, I'll link my straps playlist down in the description box. You can go get all sorts of strap ideas that aren't as expensive as this one is, but I am excited to have the genuine article in the Damier Ben leather trimmings. So I do have two more bags to show you to go with this gorgeous new strap. It's almost like I have four new bags and that's why it's so fun for me to get a new strap. The next bag on the agenda is my beautiful Croisette. And this bag comes with a solid Damier Ben strap. And so I am excited to be able to spruce her up with something different. This bag is the reason why I didn't want the Speedy 20 because I really feel like it's about the same size as the Speedy 20. And so I'm so pumped to have this bandolier strap to go with this bag. It's just chef's kiss perfect. You may remember when I got my Speedy 20 that I showed you this bag with the strap with the Vaquetta trim. And it does look really, really good with this strap. And interestingly enough, I wondered if the strap that came with the Speedy 20 in monogram would be the exact same color palette as the one in Damier Ben. You really just can't tell unless you have them right next to each other. But I'm here to tell you that they are exactly the same, exactly the same color of embroidery. The only thing that is different is the leather trim. You've got the Viketa trim on the monogram strap and you've got the Aben trim on the Aben strap or on the Speedy B20 Aben bag. And this bag comes with kind of a dark brown edging. And so the only thing I didn't like about this strap with my capucines was the fact it had this bit of the Keta trim on it. But now I've got one with the Ben trim. Now it's not the same color as the Terillion leather is. The color is called Galay. But if you look inside here, the lining is pretty close to the color of the Aben leather. It's not quite as dark, but it's close. Let's give this strap a test drive and just see what we think. So I think I really like it. I'm not sure I like it better than I do the Viketa version, but I definitely like this strap with the other three bags I showed you. And I think I'm digging it with this one. I'll have to look at it a little bit closer when I do my video editing, you'll have to let me know what you think. Which strap would you prefer with the capucines? Do you think it would be better with this lighter version or the darker one? So now that we've gotten all strap happy and I've showed you all the bags and both the straps, actually all three of the straps or all four of the straps, we really have been busy today. I do wanna go ahead and talk to you about this beautiful Teddy Blake bag. Again, brand new, never used. I have the dust bag and I will be happy to ship it and the second prize anywhere within the United States. The way that you need to enter for this prize is to go down into the comment section and I want you to put three blue hearts and then write something that you love about my channel. And once you've done that, then consider yourself entered. The way we're going to choose a winner is gonna be just like we've done it before. My youngest son is going to pick and he will scroll through the comments while he's standing here next to me and he will pick first and second prize based on the hearts and what people say. And once he's announced the two winners, then I will go down into the comments and reply back to the two winners and ask you to reach out to me. The only way that I'm ever gonna ask you to reach out to me is going to be through my contact information that I put in the description box. I always put my Instagram information as well as my email address, which is thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. And on Instagram, I'm the at symbol and then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can reach me one of those two ways if you're the winner and that way you can provide me with your address so that I can ship your prize directly to you. So if you're interested in entering either the bag or 
let's say a three strap prize and I haven't picked the other two straps out yet but I will very soon then make sure to go down below and enter if you like this video make sure to also give me a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet what are you waiting for do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this also I just told you my Instagram and my email address so I'm not going to repeat that but if I don't hear from you I will see you again real soon take care and have a fabulous day Bye.